Okay, it should be good. The moon. I just gotta say anything that comes to my mind, really. Hive world, okay. A regular trench coat in 40k? Or is that just a regular coat? It's oddly long. It's a rainy night. A shitty night. The perfect cure would be a bottle of Amasek right now. But I need to think clear. I took a sip from my bottle of iron taste of order and pawned on this most peculiar case. The mayor of the local hive has disappeared without a clue. Okay, I like this already. More and more grim dark. The papers tell me this isn't the first person. Hang on, I'm sorry. We I have to read this because this is like the perfect time to put hidden messages in your video. And it looks like it looks like it's just regular like articles. They're not really they kind of have text, but they're not super. Uh, sandpaper cigarette mentioned. You know I have to do the voice now. If only I had a sandpaper cigarette. <laughs> that wasn't my best one. That wasn't my best version. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 Dominique was so funny and I could do his voice. My voice isn't where it needs to be today. <laughs> You'll never stop me from saying these words. <laughs> sandpaper. Oh, no. <clears throat> my voice is bad. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> political statue disappear as of late. All who disappear are soon replaced for the Hive's hierarchy, but each successor has been- No! What? No way it said that. You saw that too, chat. You had to have seen that. All who disappear are soon replaced- You know what I'm seeing, chat? You know exactly what I'm looking at. Why? Why? Oh, gosh. This- this is- oh my gosh. <laughs> See, I knew they would hide stuff in here. I knew they would hide stuff in here. Ugh! The highest hierarchy, but each successor has been shadier. Now, now, now I have to read it. Now I have to make sure. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I could read this out loud, but after that sandpaper cigarette thing, um, I feel like it's not going to be as good. <laughs> sandpaper cigarettes is the first thing I hear coming into here. Yes, yes. M my my second favorite. Well, yeah, my the one I, I think I'm more consistently better at is Catus <laughs> I like that one too. It's because my voice can hit it. It's higher pitched. Anyways. From the last. Clearly foul play at work. But the local arbitrage refuse involvement. And the masses seem quite concerned. Not a surprise. Seeing as they can't see. I wonder who this guy is. Usually, the Inquisition would have been sent in to inspect. They can't be bothered. Shifts in legislation. I'm on the case instead. And I intend to solve it. I entered the upper hives to allure some information about the disappearance of the mayor. What's this guy's name? Excuse me, sir. May I ask you a few questions? Get out of my way, you shader! The locals weren't particularly huh. agreeable. It could be the severe case of Crotchwell who played Hive. <laughs> I knew Oh, they just had to bring that back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crotchrot and, you know, what the mayor was talking about. It's, it's just really bad over- it's bad overall. There was something else there. I could feel it in the air. Oh, can you spare me a few thrones, young mister? I can thrones? Give you something for your generosity. Huh. Excuse me. I'm looking into the case of a missing mayor. Mind if I ask a few questions? Oh, yeah. Who is that? The poor, sweet old mayor. You've been chopped up good, I reckon. Did you do it? What makes you think that? Hardline Imperial Creator? He was constantly upholding the cult. Ooh, the cult chat. The cult. Don't join cults. What more can you tell me about this cult? You bring me a bottle of some of that sweet soul free <laughs> I knew I had to get in this good. They, they, they can't help but uh, dropping innuendos in the. <laughs> they can't. They can't help it. The good old Mountain Dew. Yes. He seemed to be the only one, perhaps drunk, perhaps stupid enough, <laughs> to leak inside information to an outsider such as myself. Here, what? I always carry some extra on me. <gasps> So, someone else is an alcoholic, I see. <laughs> you carry some extra? Extra? Mm, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. Where, where, where did you get all of that? Where, where, where did he pull that out of? <laughs> the more important question. That's just a rally with the code red. Absolutely. That is me. That, that is absolutely me. Holy fuck. Yeah, that, that that's fight? what I was thinking. Yes. My bias <laughs> He's worse than me. Hey! Life, sir. No. 
Dang it. Look at that. I, think, I, can't, I can't read the whole thing, but you know what they're saying here. If you can see my mouse, there's my mouse. I'm not saying that, but we all know what it says. They, I noticed it when he walked by and I was like, ah, maybe it's just a poster. It, maybe it's just a poster. No, they, they always hide things. They always hide things. Please, tell me everything you know. Well, I mean, again, from the beginning. The cold was the most You told me everything you knew. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't have to listen to all that. Guys of a political movement bent on... No, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. <laughs> ...separating the from imperial rule. Most nobles in the high forget on this act of treason subterfuge. I knew I had smelled something fishy, but I didn't expect to find myself in the middle of a fish cake factorum. Oh. I started making my way to the mayor's office. <laughs> what a dumb joke. Hey there, handsome. You want to get in my car? <laughs> Yo, Detective Bruce. Oh, no, it's a dude. Never mind. Yes, oh. Oh, pardon me. I am but a spokesperson for the new mayor. I have You're sus. Been sent here by the Arbitees to investigate the disappearing. He almost looks like a jeans dealer to me. He looks yeah, odd. A few questions. I'd be more than like, look at him. He looks so. Ooh. And he looks like a jeans dealer. I don't like this. Obviously, you're not supposed to like his vibe. That's just the point of the story. Never do that again. I, I was trying to. um. I was trying to guess what was going to happen, and I think I failed. <laughs> Happy to. But not here. This place is Exposed. quite public. Meet me at town hall. We can make further discussion there. Yeah, look at his I've staff. That his staff. We can make that looks weird too. Look, look. Yeah. Okay. I think you're a jeans dealer. Look at that staff. That looks like a tyrannid head, arm, arm. There's a leg, and then maybe another set of arms holding the stone. Make further discussion there. You nah. I've met many shady people in my days. None are more shady than this. Uncanny excuse for a man. <laughs> I mean, every cell that made up my being screamed in chorus at me not to trust this so called Uncanny space. Valley. Uncanny Valley. Address, for I had made up my mind. I was going to the mayor's abode for sure. But using the main entrance has never been my way of doing things. Nice. So, chat, you could say he's going through the back door. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> what is it, brother? We've received reports that the drunkard Larry spoke about the cult to the detective man. Hmm. Detective Seems man. Like we should have disposed of him while we could. We should render judgment upon his filthy hide for his hmm. act of treason. Unfortunately. He seems to have drank himself <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. Yep, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, it is of no matter, my brother. That new snoring will have another thing coming when he arrives for our discussion. That Magus, as they called him. <clears throat> leads the cult operation as yep. face forward. Oh, you think? I just need to find some kind of hard evidence for this heresy. And then I'll be out of here. Sir, you're probably going to have to go to Undercity. Dust collection. Nothing of interest. Come, sister. Let's go down in friends. Yes. Let us slither between Ooh. the Shit, someone's coming. Ew. shall soon embrace this world. Our father below has led us yep. to our salvation. I mean, I don't know. It felt pretty obvious, chat, but um, our father below, that's definitely the patriarch. It felt pretty obvious. They also have this diagram thing over here that looks like a Tyranid, but I'm not completely sure. So... Oh! Oh! Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? The signs were all there. Who? The signs were all there, chat. <laughs> Although, can I actually, can I have this library? I would love a library like this. What, what I need is a house that I never have to move out of. So I never have to move my, my books ever again. Because this would be so nice. But I, books are so hard to move. The god above, the father below, this needs investigation. Yeah, he probably just not privy to secret information about gene stealers. <laughs> Thank you.
No, no, no. See, you're wrong. Cosplaying does exist in 40K. It's called Gene Stealers. They cosplay. <laughs> they cosplay as regular people. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i half expect him to say like as a joke that a, like earlier i half expected him to say that a lot of people's pants had been stolen because you know gene stealers <laughs> i don't know that's just it, it's it's just the right vibe for this where he just says it all casually and he's like that's peculiar <laughs> I like how modern the inside of this elevator is compared to like what you see normally in 40k. Very modern elevator. And it only has three floors and a ground level. So technically four. Oh, this must be, um, unless ground signals basement. Okay. <clears throat> fun, fun fact that I know. Uh, I've never, no, I have been to Europe. Um, this must be like some, something like a European elevator because usually when americans talk about like so if you were going to be in a regular elevator i'm sorry i'm sorry chat we're gonna we're gonna devolve here um americans usually if a, if a building has three stories it's one two three whereas I've, I've heard i've heard that in england and other european countries it's ground the first floor is the americans second floor yeah so this is i think this is a european elevator i don't know <laughs> sorry it's just a dumb fact that i know Oh, yes, this is technically a very ancient elevator by their standards. You are correct. I'm sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Yeah, it's just this odd. Yeah, because that's a G. If it was a B and it was basement, that would make sense. So if he's going down, this, this elevator cannot, cannot actually take him down. Unless he started off on the third floor. And I doubt he did. Don't. Is it that skeleton that said that? Or is it the guy? That's what I do when I, I'm excited to chat. And this is interesting. Um, when I, we were reading uh, For the Emperor, the Kaifas Kane novel, they talked about actually how the gene, sealer, gene stealers were like deadly. They were like silent. Like they didn't um, do... Like, they, they communicated with their minds. They didn't talk at all. And they talked about how eerie and unhuman it was. And that was, like, the strangest thing. Even though that some of them looked more like humans than others, it was, um... Like, that's something that, like, really threw him off. And that he, like, he knew something was wrong, obviously, because they were doing investigations. <laughs> so, I... It's funny that they make them go, Aah. Yeah, they like they just said that they were like perfectly quiet. At least in the book, I haven't read any other books with gene stealers in it. Um, but that's what they said. Hey, but tank. Yeah, you're hosed, man. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. Oh, th it's also possible that this is part of a different um high fleet. Obvious, it's probably not part of the same high fleet, so they can all interact differently. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it scared me. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we have here. Mm. I have a feeling you had guts detected. I just didn't realize how badly you wanted them spilled. Yep. Oh my gosh. I'm not... Oh. So, I was like, I was kind of wondering, I was like, why didn't they just straight up kill him? Because I, I think he's probably still going to be alive. But you know what I think? I think that he's going to solve this mystery, but he's going to have the... Oh, I forget what it's called, but the, the gene stealer seed, uh, like, put inside his body so that he creates gene stealers in the future if he has kids. Dun, dun, dun! That's my guess. That's my guess. Wait, see... Look at all those nids. I don't... Are they even joking that he got launched into space, or is he just seeing all of this? 
Mm. They're coming. The nids are coming. Here comes the boy. <laughs> He's hungry. I'm hungry too. <laughs> Something Nids and I have in common. The galaxy's a giant pizza, you're right. Mm, this is bad, this is bad. Um, oh. This is giving me um, Eldritch Horror vibes. Like, like Cthulhu, stuff like that. Even though I think this might be scarier in some ways. Oof. You saw it, didn't you? Our god! <laughs> My emperor. Your emperor? <laughs> <laughs> Do you not see by Come on, now let's see the patriarch. Come on. The nourishment for the great god beyond. It is coming right now. Yeah, to the nids just planet. want to eat the emperor. Its tendrils will lovingly embrace this world and make everything right. You're sick. You're all sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, detective, are you even aware that you're a psycho? Ooh, that's a twist. Perhaps you're in denial, but you just made personal contact with the mind of our great god and survived. Oh, no, man. Sure, this is a sign that you will make a fine genius. <laughs> you will be able to spread our oh, boy. to many, many other worlds as you take upon further investigations. You will help our great I don't, god don't monologue. Just, his just, way into our galaxy. Just... I could think of no higher Just stick honor. it. Mm. Never. My just just get him with it. With the Emperor and the Imperium. Mutant scum. <laughs> Such futile resistance. My patriarch. Will you do us the honors? Ooh. This is my interesting tyrannical slam of attack. <laughs> 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 Get him, get him. What is that? Why are all our brothers dead on the ground? Did someone say? Who is this? Who? Who is she? And how did you get him here? Get him, girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> Who are you? What are you? She ain't an Inquisitor? I can't tell. No, she looks like a sister. What? Was she a saint? Oh, was she a saint? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> I, uh... Chad, he's lost his marbles. He should not be laughing like that. Okay, good. He's crying now. That's a more appropriate response. I was like, why is he laughing? Oh my gosh. I hope there are more episodes of this. I'm definitely interested. I, I like this. She's that one Inquisitor that hangs out with Fyodor. Okay. And is obsessed with the Gene Sears. Oh, yes. Okay. I remember her. I didn't know if that was like just a sister, well, Inquisitor, or if like if it was a specific one or was it just kind of like a regular one that's about. Okay. Oh, hey. Wait. You. She has the Amasek. Did you just come back from the Materium? <laughs> Yes. But it's okay, everyone. She brought Amasek, so it's all okay. She How can share. Did he get there? I don't know. Bye, internet! <laughs> I almost spit out my drink. <laughs> I, I, I took a sip, and I wasn't expecting there to be... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I... Hi, Drago. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, he got me. He got me. That's for sure. <laughs>